Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'm going to show you eight computer tips and tricks using keyboard shortcuts and other productivity things um, to hopefully make your life uh, faster and easier on the computer, especially if you have a lot of high pace and uh, stuff that you're doing on it. Um, maybe some of these you've seen before, but maybe some of these will be very helpful and new to you. So let's jump into this here. I'm going to uh, share my screen so you can kind of see these um, different actions taking place here. So the first one is probably one of my most favorite, super helpful, use it all the time. Um, instead of using like print screen or having to go and opening up like the snipping tool, if you're familiar with that, if you need to take a screen grab of anything that's on your computer and put like a note on it to send this to somebody, this is the way to do it for sure. Press and hold Windows, then Shift and then S, and you'll see the screen kind of darken like that. And then you can, on this screen, uh, a little cursor will come up and you can screenshot anything you need like that. It'll pop up a little notification. And if you click on that, uh, you can actually open that. It's already, you don't have to click on it. It actually immediately goes to your clipboard so you can paste it into an email or a Word document. Um, so you can do something like that um, really easily. Or you can now annotate this using all the tools up here at the top. So you can circle something add an error, you know, add an X, and then just hit copy again. And then when you paste that into any program, it brings over all your annotations. Super simple, super helpful, probably my number one tech tip, which is why I gave it to you first. <laughs> um, but we have seven more to look into. Uh, the next one is simple enough. Most people should know it, but if you don't know it, you need to know it. And that is control P which simply allows you to print whatever you're looking at on the screen. Um, so that's going to open up your default, the, the printing of that app, and you can easily print it. Um, very helpful because some applications have print in different places. So like this one here, you know, it's like you could spend all that time, where's the print button? Is it in here? Oh, there it is. Or just control P, jump right into it. So that's the second shortcut. Everybody should know that one. All right. For the... Third tip um, is navigating multiple windows on your screen. So in this case here, I now have uh, some screens open. Well, you could um, move these around position. You could pin them to the side, but what's even easier is using the window key and the arrow keys to immediately pin um, something on your screen. So let's say we need to get this side by side with our Word document. Well, you can hold down the Windows key and hit left or right arrow. And now you'll see it has pinned that to the left and our Word document now pops up here on the right. We can hit enter and now we've pinned those two windows next to each other. I know in the recording here, you can't really see everything because I have my windows cropped, um, but that is basically pinning it. And then you can, um, you can even do more. You can use um, the up arrow then to move the Word document up. You can move it down. You can hit up again to make it full screen, left, right you can basically move this screen that app all around your screen uh, by just simply using the arrow keys to pin it um, which is super helpful all right so now let's jump onto one that i think is very helpful and i close this out here we minimize our word document um constantly you, know, you might be on a site like this and you know oh, i want to copy this text here and so you you select it, you copy it, you go into your, your Word document, putting this over here, and you paste it in, and you get this, you know, formatted version of it, and you're like, I, I didn't really want all the links, I didn't want the formatting, I just wanted the copy that it was, um, you know, uh, the copy that was on the screen. Well, what you can do is simply open up a uh, notepad, so just click on Start, Type a notepad, open up the default notepad app, and you can paste whatever you want into that block. It will remove all the formatting no matter what you paste in there and just return to you the text. And then after you paste it in there, select it all again using Control A, copy. I know some of these I'm going through fast. I'm assuming you know Control C for copy, Control V for paste. If you don't, um, those are very good ones to know. Um, but yeah, you're just selecting it, copying it, and then you can paste it into your Word document with all that formatting then removed. So I find that very helpful um, if you're working on papers, documents, research, things like that, and you're copying something from a website and you don't want all that formatting 
to get put into your Word document. I see that happen all the time where people send a document and you can tell that they've copied it or even on like certain websites where formatting has been brought over. So this is a very clean way just to copy the text. Um, you can paste it through this. I know there's ways in words too that you can do like paste as plain text. There's paste options. Um, but this is just a very clean way no matter what you're pasting into. You run it through Notepad. It's going to remove all that formatting for you. All right. The next shortcut here for you is going to be Windows tab. So you just press Windows tab and that is going to um, open all the windows that are open on that monitor. So I have actually a couple monitors here now and I'm seeing on each monitor all the windows that are open on that respective screen. So you can quickly see everything that you have opened. You can close them by simply clicking on an X or you can click on one of them to open it up like so. There's a quick way to navigate, especially if you have a lot open on your screen. Uh, to just kind of get a glance at everything you have going on, maybe close out some things and um, review everything there at once. Next up is pinning an app to your start menu uh, or your taskbar. You probably have um, have pinned uh, something before um, to your taskbar. You have like your apps and stuff down here at the bottom, which I realize are cut off here on the screen. Uh, let me pull that up for you. There you go. <laughs> so you can see you know, how you have apps pinned down here. You can simply do that uh, by searching for an app and uh, right clicking to pin it. So I'll show you that here real quick. So you right click and you can click pin to taskbar. And that's going to pin that application down here. But what's nice about this is if you right click after you've pinned an app, it's going to show you all your recent files that you've opened in that app. So I can quickly see here in Notepad all the different notepads that I've opened and quickly jump into any one of these files. And what's even nicer is you can pin one of these. So if I want to pin my videos, notes, and ideas, I can pin that to the top so that even if I don't open it recently, it's always available there at the top. And again, you can pin all your common apps down here and then do that on all of them. So all my different apps like Excel and Word, when I right click on them, I get all my recents, which is helpful, but then also at the top, I have pinned all the most common things that I go back to. All right, two more here for you. Um, one quick, this is a quick one. This is the Windows key plus the letter D. You just hold down the Windows key plus D and that will minimize everything. And then you press it again and it brings everything back. So it's a quick way if you use icons like shortcuts on your desktop and instead of like trying to minimize or you know scroll down and hit show desktop you can just windows key d open up something like that hit it again bring everything back so it's a quick way to kind of minimize everything and then bring it all back to where it was now this last tip was one that i just recently found out about and it was actually the one that kind of made me spark this video idea because you're always learning new things and that is kind of the ultimate undo button um, in on your computer. Um, it works really well in Chrome. I think it can work in some other applications as well. I haven't done an extensive testing, but I definitely have used it in Chrome before um, because sometimes you have a lot of tabs open. I only have four open here in this example. Um, let me actually scroll this back, uh, back up here for you. So you can see I have a couple tabs open here in Chrome. And um, yeah, you can close them out. That's super easy. Um, I usually use the middle mouse button on my computer. So if you didn't know that, you can use that to quickly close out a window like that. But if you've ever accidentally hit the X or bumped the wrong tab, and then you go, oh, like, dang it, I just closed <laughs> my window out. Or even more in the case of you just accidentally closed your entire Chrome browser. And you go to reopen Chrome and you get your default homepage like this. Now there are ways you can go and do your, you know, your history, things like that. But all you have to do in your computer is hold Control, Shift, and then T. And that will undo. So that just undid my closing, right? It just brought back the two tabs. Hit it again, it brings back that tab. Hit it again, it brings back that tab. It is an undo for your browser. So if you like bump and, and close out some stuff and then, you know, close out your browser, you can undo and get back to the tabs exactly how they were on their screen. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool, like kind of like a global undo button 
because um, I have had a couple times where I've accidentally chromed out, closed out Chrome, and I had maybe 30 tabs open, and I was just like, well, don't really feel like going through my history to figure out how to get all that back. That has been super helpful to kind of quickly bring everything back, or again, in closing tabs, accidentally closed the wrong tab, that is able to bring it back to where it was. So I hope these tips were helpful. Hopefully you found one of them in there that maybe you didn't know about before. Um, if there was one that uh, really stood out to you, be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know which one it was. Um, or if you have other tips or things that you, you know, favorite shortcut keys or productivity tips, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them from you. And maybe if I get enough of them together down there, I'll make another video kind of compiling those together um, so that we can all uh, share that knowledge with each other. So thanks guys for watching this a tech tip video. Appreciate it. If it was helpful, be sure to give it a like. If you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.